on this episode of Deep Fried What, we got us some Sonic, bitches. First thing we gotta do is make us some better. Oh, and vape life! Pretzel bacon chili cheese. Not too shabby on presentation. We got some onions, we got some bacon, definitely good cheese. Although is that is that queso or is that like that that looks like queso? And how's that for a Macy's Day float, huh? Yeah! Oh there it is. And it yeah. smells really nice too. I, I, there's an aroma of the pretzel bread in the air right now, and I'm, I'm kind of digging that. So the onions are the star here. Oh my god, with the pretzel bread, of course. The cheese is nice too. Oh fuck. There's a lot going on in this little bad boy, and this is the most distinct hot dog I've ever had. When you first bite into it, the onions are so, um, they're so pronounced. It almost reminds me of like the sour cream and onion like Pringles and stuff. Like, it's a very powerful wave of onion up front. And then the pretzel comes through and the, the hot dog is really nice and the cheese and the bacon. It's, it's, it's a little jubilee. It might be a little starchy after the, uh, the breading, but I can think of like half a dozen other hot dogs that become way too starchy because they don't have enough hot dog and other things in them. Supersonic bacon double! Ah! Here we go, this thing is heavy as shit! Nice. Woo! Ooh. 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 Oh my god! What just fucking happened? Oh look, it's making a badonka donk already. Yeah. Oh, oh. There is oh. a lot of oil trapped inside <laughs> here. Oh. <laughs> a lot of oil. Is it sloshing around like a canteen? <laughs> <laughs> this is where Harvey Dent was hit by the acid. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, burned, depending on the canon you follow. Uh-huh. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and cut it right along. <laughs> <laughs> the Harvey Dent line. Yeah! Jesus, it's big. <sighs> so here's the problem with the, uh, the Sonic hamburger, is that the patties really don't have a lot of flavor. Just by themselves, right? You know what I mean? Mm. Uh, the bacon isn't super present either. It's, it's, overall, it's kind of a bland hamburger. The burger is probably okay uh, by itself, but when you introduce another really strong flavor to it and a really strong texture, it just disappears. It just, you, it loses itself. So that um, it, it's not like, they're not complementing each other the way that usually a deep fried burger does. They kind of fight with each other. Like the, the, the batter is super overbearing compared to the sandwich. Mm -hmm. So they don't really, they just don't mesh together all that well. I bet that's what happened to the chicken sandwich too, and, and the toaster sandwich. I mean, it lacks pickle. There's no, I don't even think there's fucking ketchup on this thing. There's no tart. I don't think there's ketchup. I think there needs to be mustard. I think there needs to be a lot of different things going on in there. They're, they, they need a stronger sauce to combat all the fat that's happening. I'm not sad, I'm just disappointed. <laughs> Double bacon cheeseburger on toast bread. Ooh. <laughs> that one Ooh. dirty patty melt Ooh. right there. Oh, I would do such dirty things. Ploppity plop. Ploppity plop plop plop. Mag. 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 Don't eat your foot. Don't eat your foot. Oh, fuck. She toasty. Mm hmm. Do I have anything on my face? No, 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 no. <laughs> Fine. I don't know if I maybe like overcooked it as far as the batter is concerned. But like, I don't think that the batter actually adds anything to this. 
If anything, it actually detracts from the rest of the sandwich. Strangely enough, the lettuce and the tomato didn't do like what they normally do when we deep fry stuff. Like those are actually still good. Yeah, I just don't like the uh, the deep fry batter on the outside of it. I think that by itself would have been a delicious sandwich, but the deep fry batter actually doesn't add anything to it. Classic breaded chicken. <laughs> got some tomato action. I got some iceberg lettuce action. Get in there. Get in there. I think I really like the uh, the toothpicks. Maybe something to grasp. Mm -hmm. Something to firmly grasp. <laughs> Ooh, nice couple. I bequeath thee one salty son of a bitch. The breading on the inside looks a little gray, but we'll yeah. see how that, yeah, how that comes does. out. Yeah. I don't know if I'm happy with too much of it. I think the breading that's on the chicken is is somewhat suspect. Maybe it's the chicken itself. If you ever go to McDonald's and you get like their grilled chicken salad or something, their chicken, like the, the pre-cooked ready-made stuff, the stuff that just like stays on the shelf, you know, warm, that is a thing, right? It has that weird flavor to it. You know, like it's almost bitter or something. Um, it must be preservatives because I think that's what's going on here. The dressing with this, I'm pretty sure is just plain old mayonnaise. Um, so despite the ciabatta bun, uh, I'm really unimpressed with the rest of the things in here. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. What the fuck is this? The coney what? It's the quarter pound coney, baby. Quarter pound coney! Yeah. Maybe I should cut it in half. Oh, come on. It's already falling apart. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't fit. <laughs> You know when it just won't flush, folks. <laughs> it's all going in. Oh. <laughs> oh. That's what a quarter pound hot dog looks like after you deep fry it. <laughs> looks like it's deep fried something else, too. <laughs> That's it. Oh. See, what this is doing is it has tons of strong flavor happening in that chili, which totally stands up to the batter. They meet each other halfway. They have a good working relationship. That's <laughs> how you have to do it, people. Yeah. You gotta be a team. Teams are equal. They apply themselves equally. It's sort of reminiscent of like the better Wiener Schnitzel hot dog. Mm -hmm. But I think the bun is even more fluffy and it holds up so well against the batter. And the chili just has the perfect amount of flavor to fight all that stuff happening in there. I think it just needs, if I was to give it anything, maybe a little bit, like it needs a little bit of mustard or something, a little bit sharp, acidic, to really fight all the fat that's happening in there. But as it stands, it's pretty good. This is solid. So what we've learned today on this episode of Deep Fried What is if you're going to deep fry yourself some Sonic, get them hot dogs. That's the way to go. The flavors stand out. Don't deep fry the hamburgers. They're a little bit sad. <clears throat> Just gotta be honest with you. That's, that's all there is. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna finish this hot dog. Thanks for watching. Look at the more social deets, whatever. Go look at Lofi somewhere on Twitch. Yay. I'm somewhere in there. Find a hot dog. Chili? Yeah. Who knows? I mean, that totally makes sense. Chili cheese hot dogs, the best thing at Sonic.